Look, I get it. Facebook ads are getting way too expensive to be profitable. I'm willing to bet that the majority of people that quit their e-commerce businesses quit because the ad costs are too high. Therefore, they just can't drive traffic to their store. Therefore, they just can't make any money because if you don't get anybody going to your store, then chances are you're not going to sell anything. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you what I'm focusing on for my e-commerce stores in 2022. And I want to basically walk you through what I think is the best thing for a beginner to start doing right now to not only make sales, but also to start growing their business in a profitable way. Because of course, yeah, you can grow your business at a loss and plenty of companies do that. But why not grow it at a profit and actually be able to enjoy? the fruits of your labor so the secret is actually simpler than you think and that's actually great I don't really like to keep things complicated I think many people out here in the e-commerce space crypto even in nfts try to make things more complex than they need to be in order to sell a course and now that crypto is crashing hard we're gonna get a lot more people here in the e-commerce space soon so you better stay till the end and take advantage of what I'm about to show you now what I'm looking at right now on my screen is the TikTok ad center. If you don't know what this is, it's actually a TikTok tool. So they provide this for their users and it shows you basically all of their top ads, all of their top trends and a bunch of stuff like that. So it really is an amazing tool for a business, especially if you're somebody that's low on funds, because what's amazing about TikTok aside from their ad platform is actually the fact that you can go viral organically so you can go viral without having to spend money on ads and that's obviously really cool because a lot of you guys don't have enough money to spend on ads and a lot of you also lack the skills to run ads profitably so the first step to making a TikTok go viral is having the right sound and luckily the TikTok creative center actually shows you the trending sounds which is very convenient. You can use all of these sounds for your ads and that's gonna cause them to go more viral. You can also look up hashtags here. Push and P is the, is the most popular hashtag right now, which is pretty funny. Routina here is starting to pop off. So, you know, you can actually take advantage of some of these trends and try to capitalize early. So conservation, that's interesting. So for example, if you have a product in the hydroponic niche or in some sort of plant niche, this could be a great hashtag to start using with your TikToks because look at that. It's starting to pop off like this is looking bullish, more bullish than my crypto portfolio. That's for sure. Conversation is also popping off. Hannah Montana is kind of on the come up too. Wow. This is actually very interesting. So you see what I'm getting at. This is the best place to find trends to capitalize on and make videos about for your business. And I'm not gonna lie, not only am I starting to do this and getting amazing results, but this is what major brands are starting to do. Brands are starting to hire people to create TikToks for them. And it's not only because TikTok itself is so powerful, but there's also another way involving this strategy that allows you to 4X your reach. Then I'll share that with you in a little bit. But first of all, I want to show you how you can actually find these top ads to get inspiration from, because obviously most of you guys probably don't use TikTok on a day to day basis. Maybe you do, but you don't need to. You can actually just study the ads that top brands are using and that are getting the most engagement. So in the TikTok Creative Center, which, by the way, you can simply go on Google and type TikTok Creative Center and the second one will be the one that you choose and that will take you here. So you can click on top ads here. And then what I want you to do is click here on campaign objective and conversions. So we want to see all the ads that are getting conversions because that's what we want to get. We don't just want to drive, you know, traffic that's not going to convert. We want to drive traffic that's going to make us money. So anyways, you click conversions here and then something that I like to do is click this six second view rate. And the reason why is because this is what's gonna show you videos that are actually getting people engaged. So if you don't know, the first three seconds of your videos, basically in all ad platforms and not just ad platforms, but content platforms in general are the most important seconds of your entire video. So if it's boring right off the bat, you're gonna get a much lower click through rate. You're gonna lose a lot of people right away. But if it's really engaged and people stay through till the end or at least till six seconds, then you know you have something there. And all of these videos, we can actually filter by six second view rate, which is kind of a hack. And we can actually take inspiration from these things and apply them to our ads to make people stay longer. So let's take a look at a few ads here to get some inspiration. Try to, this Try to read this without crying. 
So that's a really good scroll stopper, especially for a jewelry piece like this. Want to remove dead skin and excess oil? That's a really good question to ask right away. If you can ask a question in the beginning of your ad, that can serve as a really good hook. And one thing that you'll find in common with all of these ads basically is that they're all very simple. So let me show you this one for example. Overpriced phone, Overpriced cases, phone suck. cases suck. Our phone cases, Our phone cases are, simply are simply the best because, because they have a built-in privacy, built privacy screen so nobody screen, blah, 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 blah. can take anymore. This is such a classic they're product. They're with strong it's magnets. a very, very drop old dropshipping product. Protected. And somebody created an entire brand out of it. So super cool. And what you'll notice is that these are all filmed on iPhone. So no longer do you need to have a crazy production in order to create effective ads. In fact, these ads actually work better because they don't feel like ads. It just feels like straight up TikTok content. And here's the hack that I noticed is a really good idea, especially if you have no budget to actually run ads, because I do think running ads can help your business grow exponentially if you can actually find a good offer to run ads to. But if you can't, then this strategy is really ideal. And what you can do Overpriced is every video that you create suck. for TikTok like Our this, not only does that have the potential to go viral on TikTok and earn you organic sales, Sales, but also you can repost that same exact content on Instagram Reels. And the reason why that's very powerful is because Instagram Reels are definitely competing with TikTok at this point. TikTok has become the most used social media platform and obviously Instagram is not gonna you know, let that slide. They're trying their best to compete and giving a lot of reach to creators that are actually utilizing the real feature on Instagram. So you can definitely go ahead and repurpose the same content. You don't even have to really do anything. You can just post the same exact content that you're posting on TikTok, but on Instagram Reels for your business and earn twice the reach, if not more. I will say, I think it's actually easier right now to go viral on Instagram Reels sometimes because not a lot of people are using it and the competition is a lot lower than on TikTok. So that's an easy way to quadruple your reach basically and potentially earn more sales. So look, I'm actually feeling very confident on the e-commerce space for 2022. Yes, dropshipping is still difficult because of shipping times, but I've been saying this for a long time. I think dropshipping is a way to start your business. I don't think it's a business model at least AliExpress dropshipping. I don't think it's a business model that you should use long term. I think it's a great way to test an idea, start getting customers and money to reinvest into your business, and then start improving things along the way. If you don't improve your shipping times, your branding materials, your packaging, the unboxing experience, then your business is gonna die and you're not gonna be able to make money long term. This brand, for example, right here runs basically on autopilot. And today it's early in the morning, it's already made $500 plus <laughs> with barely any traffic so this is extremely profitable we started by drop shipping testing ideas and then use that money to invest in stock into better boxes into better suppliers and now it's an asset that we own that's earning us money and growing in valuation every single year while getting amazing customer feedback like honestly it just feels great but hopefully this helped you out you guys seem to really like these concise videos i know ain't nobody got time to be watching you know hour-long videos sometimes unless it's like a podcast i definitely thing that's how I consume content at least I either watch really short videos or really long videos that are podcasts if you enjoyed this content make sure you subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you in my next video see ya